We start with our newsmaker segment and focus on the Kansas legislature starting its new term next week. Before returning to Topeka, Joy Coaston, a Republican who represents the 28th District in Leewood, returns for a visit on Ruckus. She spoke with us about a year ago as the first year of her term was starting. We'll find out how it went and how optimistic she is about year number two. Dr. Coaston, welcome back. Thank you. You're a doctor and a legislator. You're uh, an educator and you have taught extensively in the field of communications, I believe. That is correct. Uh, so you went to Topeka beginning of 2017, optimistic about the future for the state of Kansas. Was your experience a positive one? It was, overwhelmingly so. Um, there were certainly moments of tension and stress and uh, perhaps a little wrangling, but uh, overwhelmingly it was a really positive experience. Would you call the session a successful one? I think so. Um, I, I, from my perspective, uh, it, it, it was very successful. The uh, governor is still Sam Brownback. His federal appointment is yet to be yes. confirmed by the Republican-controlled Senate, and he'll be giving a state of the state this coming Tuesday. The session begins on Monday. What do you expect the governor to say? I wish I knew. I really don't have a... He wishes he knew. I wish I knew. I really don't know what he, uh, what he will say. Um, I think that it will be an interesting evening to listen to uh, how he wants to finish out his term. Uh, I don't know uh, what his vision is for the last uh, year that he has in office. Uh, I, I assume that he may be departing earlier, but uh, I think he pr would probably go into that state of the state with at least some sense of uh, what he hopes to accomplish. We'll talk about school finance here in a moment, but aside from that, what are the other top issues you'll be considering? Well, I think uh, some of the things that we are still talking about would be Medicaid expansion. Are uh, you in favor of that? I am. I absolutely am. Uh, I've spoken to all of our hospital CEOs about what that would mean to them, uh, the, the amount of uncompensated care that they're carrying. Uh, is a tremendous burden to our local hospitals in rural Kansas. We have hospitals that are closing because of uncompensated care. Uh, we've given away over $2 billion of our own federal tax dollars uh, because we haven't uh, adopted the uh, expansion. Uh, so I think that it was, um, it was not in our best interest to do that all these years, and I, I would hope that we would have an opportunity. Do you, do you to think do. a lot of Republicans are in favor of that? I, generally, Republicans have opposed Medicaid expansion in Kansas. I think Republicans are pragmatic, and I think they've seen what, what it has done to our uh, rural hospitals. Well, now, you consider yourself a moderate Republican. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself working more with Democrats than with conservative oh, no. Republicans? No, 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 I don't think so. And in fact, um, certainly there are, there are people on both extremes for the spectrum that are a little more challenging to find common ground with, but uh, we have an amazing coalition of, of moderate thinkers on both sides of the aisle, and I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think I've had to work very hard to find, find those people. Are, are you comfortable with the way school finance is determined in the state, the ongoing Supreme Court hearings brought by four school districts in the state, including Wichita and Kansas City, Kansas? Uh, you know, I think that the last, what has it been, 25 years of, uh, of court cases has certainly been a strain on the state. Yeah. Um, but I think that it's the legislature's job to figure out what that suitable funding is. Um, that's uh, what we have failed to do, so we need to figure well, out how but, to make but it But how work. would you figure it out? There's no clear-cut path that, that I can perceive. Well, you have a, a state constitution that, mm -hmm. that is vague, to say the least, and a Supreme Court that decides there needs to be more money mm -hmm. and gives you a date by which to get it appropriated, right. Right. but then doesn't give you any clue as to how much it should be. Right. Uh, most constitutional language is vague, <laughs> so if we start worrying about, uh, you know, having to be so finite in our, in our word choice uh, in a constitution, uh, that limits our ability to govern, so I think that... Well, there, uh, there was some talk of a constitutional amendment mm -hmm to keep the state Supreme Court from having the authority to close schools mm -hmm. if it disagreed with the legislature's funding amount. Would you buy into that? Uh, no, I, I don't think I would. I think, and I think it'd be hard to find uh, a three, you know, three-fourths of, of the, the House to, and the Senate two, to two do thirds, that. Two-thirds, I think. Two-thirds, yeah. I think, I think it would be hard to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, you're looking forward to this next year. I and am. We wish you well. 
maybe we'll make this a tradition that the first of every okay. year you come back and tell us how things went. I'd like. Are that. you running for re-election? Do you uh, know yes, yet? Yes, I've already filed and uh, already have an opponent, and yes, I will be running. Do you have a favorite Republican for governor? Um, yeah, I think so, but I'm not. I'm not ready to go public. Keeping yet. it a secret. Yeah. Huh? yeah. All, right. All right, Dr. Coaston, thank you very much. Thank Good you. To see you again. Nice to see you, Mike. That is Kansas State Representative Joy Coaston. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.